To make the vase, you'll need a piece of paper, a pencil or something to draw with, and a straight edge, like a ruler. Make sure your paper is going the tall way first. Trace the straight edge along the left hand side. Do this two times. Making sure the line goes all the way from the top of your paper to the bottom of the paper. You'll need to move your straight edge to do this. On that line, write the word skip or just slightly shade it in so you know when we get to the cutting part that you're not supposed to cut that part. Then flip your paper horizontally or in landscape position. Line up your straight edge, draw, skip over that section and draw that little bit at the bottom. You're going to repeat this all the way across, making sure that your straight edge lines up with the previous line you just drew. When you get to the last bit, make sure there's not a super skinny line there at the end. If there is, just skip that part. Next, grab your pair of scissors and cut on the long lines and make sure you stop where it says skip. Bring your paper around and cut on those really short lines, making sure you stop at the skip line. Fold each of those little pieces into a tab all the way across. Don't do anything with the longer pieces just yet. With a bit of glue stick on the right hand side, right on the skip line, put a good glob of glue. Now fold the two ends so they overlap and really push and hold. We want this glue to be firmly set in place. This next step gets a little hairy and takes a bit of patience, but you can see how all those little tabs that you just created end up forming the bottom of the vase. Working one tab at a time, put a little dab of glue, push and hold. Now do another dab of glue and hold it, trying to keep it in a fairly circular shape of still. They'll overlap and notice it's just a dab of glue in the corner but make sure you have plenty there. We want our vase to be secure. Repeat this through all of the tabs until you've completed the circle. Flip your vase over so the bottom part of the vase is now touching the table and then just stick your fingers in and make sure everything is nice and secure. It's not going to go anywhere. You may have to finagle it a little bit and add some more glue to make sure that it stays put. With your extra strip of colored paper on about the last inch or so, get a nice big glob of glue on the end. Then take your vase, all those long pieces, and bunch them up gently. Make sure you're not getting any creases or crinkles in them. Hold it with one hand. And then take your strip, wrap it around, and then push and hold so that strip stays in place. It's going to look a little willy-nilly at first, but we'll beautify it here in a second. Using a pencil or something similar, take the top of one of your strips and roll it until you get to your colored strip. And repeat this on all of those long pieces to create the fold over or the roll over on your face. Don't forget to sign your name in Sharpie. Take your flowers and the bottom part of the stem fold in half, just gently. Now this next part is not an exact science. Gather all of your flowers together and then gently just put a couple of solid twists in the bottom to hold all the flowers as one unit. Set your flowers in the vase and continue to arrange them until you are happy with how they look.